Last season, I had this brilliant idea to compare Manchester City's authentic home shirt with the bootleg version that I got from China. And the video came out great, you guys loved it, you ate it up, and it's still getting views up to today. So I decided to do a second version. Of course, it's smart. So coming in here on my right side is the bootleg Chinese version, and over on my left, is the authentic version that I got from the Manchester City website or you could also get it from the Puma website. So could you tell a difference between these two shirts? I really can't. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to try to spot any differences and similarities that we could find between these two shirts. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Guys, if you're looking for a gift for the football lover in your family, look no more. Head on over to cardsplug.com slash DominicRichFC to get yourself one of these lovely football cards. There's over 100 designs to choose from and you could personalize the cards whichever way you like. Use the coupon code DominicRichFC to get yourself 15% off your orders. Sometimes the discount will go up to 20, 30 or even 35%. All the links would be in the description box down below. Trust me, you won't regret it. Thank you. So guys, I'm gonna start with a color where it has the 9320 printed on it, and I'm gonna just inspect the printing to see if they're the same, which is better, which is, you know, kind of uh, inferior. And judging from what I'm seeing here, man, um, I think the real deal has a better printing. Yeah, it's more precise. The 2010, that's blended in one, it looks a lot better. Well, for this one, it looks a bit wishy-washy and the blue in the 10 is like all small and you could hardly make it out while this one is more pronounced. So in, in that aspect, the real version wins. It also have the Puma stuff at the back here and this one has it, but this one is actually printed into the, the, the fabric while this one actually just has a sticker. You see what I'm saying? So that's the difference. They both have a sticker here for the, the 9320, but eh, mm, the real version wins. The next thing I'm gonna check is the logo, right? So for the real version, the logo is a bit sturdy, and if you feel it, it just feels really nice. It, it just has this nice feel to it, right? And if you do the same for this one, it's a bit flimsy, you know what I'm saying? It, it just like, it's folded up. It's not like, you, you can see like it's it's bending and all. And if you know a real football jersey, you could spot it easily through this logo right here. It does have a nice rubbery feel to the logo, but if you check the real version, it, it does not have that rubbery feel. It's like your hand just slides over it very nicely. While for this one, there's resistance. You see, there's just, just a lot of resistance here, which means that over time it might actually peel. I actually feel like I could peel it off right now with my fingers. So for the real version, it wins again. In terms of the fabric, this should be 100% polyester, recycled polyester. For this, I don't know if it's 100% recycled polyester. Let me just check the color and see what it says here. It doesn't say anything, doesn't give me this information. And I'm pretty sure the tags were duplicated down to the T. But just to look at the fabric, it does seem like it has the dry cell technology and it replicates the, the technology of this one. But if you look at the stitch and everything is the same, but this, this looks like it has a more quality stitching inside. Where for these shirts, when you put them on, if they're a little tight, they would rip. They would actually rip, you would hear them ripping. While for these ones, they won't. They're built a lot better. So in terms of the fabric, I don't see much difference here. I don't really see much difference. But if you look closely, if you really look closely, if you put it under a microscope that I don't have right now, this is the better version all day. It wins. It wins. Let's just take a look at the design. If they got the design on the sleeve right. I'm gonna take a look at the next entire section here. And looks pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. They got it, they, they did good. But the only difference is that the, the thread for the fake version is blue. 
while the thread for the real version it's kind of grayish blue hair it's a different shade of blue hair and it's a different shade of blue over here uh, actually yeah yeah actually it, it, it is a different shade of threading I should say and it just looks a little bit different on the, the colors but overall they did get the design right and I bought this a few months in advance so the design is right you see design is right go down under the sleeve but the only thing that they didn't get right there's a little piece of printing right here and I think these things are done to actually throw off the bootleg versions right down here there's a white strip here while over here there's no white strip you see what I'm saying so that's how you spot the fake all right but go down here it's the same go down here it's the same but I see I'm seeing a little bit more vibrancy I'm seeing a little bit more vibrancy in the real version that's what I'm seeing here so if you really look closely you could spot the difference man there's a whole lot of discrepancies albeit subtle ones with the fake version seriously you know what I mean you gotta look very closely but they're not they're not easy to find it would it would take an expert to actually say hey man that version you're wearing is fake take it off if you look at the puma logos well for this one it's nice nice it's really nice and it's refined there's no kind of you know what i mean distortion in the logo or anything and the stitching isn't like out of place but if you look at this one closely it's supposed to be a puma but it looks like a cheetah or something you get it cheetah <laughs> So something that they actually did not get right is at the back of the jerseys, there is nothing printed on the real one. The back here, there's nothing. It doesn't have anything printed at the back here, nothing at all. While for the fake version, the 999 version, okay? You have City at the back. And I think it was just trying to replicate the old City jerseys by putting City here, where for the real one, no no so what are you trying to say you pay less money and you get more right <laughs> you know what i'm saying you, you, you know you pay less money and you get more when i say city at the back you see the city at the back of this one the city at the back of this one so i think they were going down the path but they failed miserably but guys if you're wondering i did get the fake version on dh gate there's a lot of other places you could get a fake manchester city jersey i'm not telling you to go buy fake jerseys okay buy the real thing like what i did i bought both versions okay so i'm doing the right thing and i'm also doing the wrong thing see but i had to do it for comparison purposes so down towards the bottom of the jersey there's also the authentic licensed football sticker and surprisingly even though this one is not an authentic shirt it does have the same thing but it has a different number so if you check the license number, it has um, authentic license product here and it has a number ending with 18994. While for the real version, it has authentic license football with a number ending with 127639. So the real version wins again. They didn't get it right. They really didn't get it right. I think they just took any number and said let's just stick it on you know what i mean nobody will know you know what i mean like no one's gonna actually look into whether that's a real number or not you're wrong i did so if you're poor and you have no money in your bank account and you only have 9.99 to spare that you made by cleaning somebody's yard yesterday or something you could go with this version because it's not far off from the real version and no one would really know the difference the ordinary person won't actually know the difference but you will know the difference, you know what I'm saying? So if you could live with that, go ahead and get this version because it, it looks the same. Nobody would really know the difference. But for me, I like to get this version so I could wear in my videos and when it's hot and sweaty, it you know, this does the job. But if I want something as a keepsake to remember a memorable season, which I think we're gonna have a great season going back to back and everything, that that wasn't confident but still i would actually pick up this version that i paid 116 dollars total but i rounded it down to 99 if you get the point it's more catchy 
and that version I paid about $15 thing including shipping so this is the version to go with man this is the real deal and I always recommend the real deal every single time but if you're someone who can't afford to splash the cash on an authentic Manchester City home jersey guys you know as I said be my guest and get the fake version okay but I'm not telling you to get fake products I'm just Ah, uh, whatever. So a 9.99 jersey versus a 99.99 jersey. Who wins? 99.99 all the time. If you could find a fake version that looks as good as this, please let me know and I'll buy one and do another comparison video. But the one that I have, it doesn't come close to the quality and the precision of the the real thing so guys thanks for watching another video if you're new around here consider hitting the subscribe button like the video if you like it share it with a friend and from your boy dominic rich until next time peace out rich squad peace